Hello everyone and welcome to Tychus Teaches You Stuff. My name is Tychus. Today we're going to take a brief look at Crotterine Armor. This will just be a very quick video. I received this request on uh, Discord and the game staff was gracious enough to lend me some equipment to do a little bit of testing so I could throw together this video and answer a few questions. What you see here is the definition of Crotterine as regurgitated from the wiki. The big things here are Crotterine is magical and anti-magical in nature, and Crotterine absorbs magic rather than reflects it. That's what we're going to be testing today is the absorption qualities of Crotterine armor and shields. The other pieces of information here that are important is items made of Crotterine cannot be used by anyone that cannot survive an attack by a Dugalorus, which is about level 80. From my own experience, it is level 80. I got Crotterine at level 78 and could not use it for two more levels and somebody else had to hold it for me. Crotterine also has the secondary wonderful effect of reducing your maximum mana either by 50% if you are using a shield or all the way to zero if you are wearing the armor. When Crotterine armor flares the caster will see this message and um, the wearer will see something very similar. You gesture at Tychus, Tychus's Crotterine Buckler rapidly consumes the magical power of the attack, and then you will see the failed warding message of whatever spell you're casting. This happens to be the Impath spell 1101. This seems to happen either before the CSTD equation happens or it overrides that equation, but you will not see um, the actual equation when your armor flares. It, uh, it hides that whole equation messaging and just gives you this absorption, absorption flare message. So on to the testing. I tested um, both plate mail and shields, and I tested two different sizes of shields to see if it made any difference, which it did not. I tested these using a level 100 empath, repeatedly casting 1101 at my capped warrior who was equipped however the, the uh, experiment indicated. So you can see the numbers here. Wearing only plate mail and not wearing a shield, I cast 5,000 times with 1,504 absorptions for a 30% absorption rate. Then I went through and tried the shields, uh, 2,500 casts at, um, high, at both shield sizes, and that gave us a combined uh, um, absorption rate of 1,500 or 15.04% 15 with 752 actual absorptions. I then equipped both the armor and the shield and did it for an additional 5,000 casts for 2,023 absorptions and a 40.46 absorption rate. You can see the breakdown here. The armor absorbed 1,291 of those casts and the shield absorbed 732. You can see the percentage breakdown there. So um, it is using a multiplicative uh, equation for uh, determining what and when flares as opposed to just straight additive. Uh, if they were just added together, we would have expected to see a 45% flare rate, um, but we only saw a 40.5% flare rate, which is actually where, uh, if you were to multiply them uh, as opposed to add them, that's exactly what we expected to see. So the numbers here are pretty clear. Wearing plate mail, or I should say anywhere, wearing crotterine armor should give you a 30% absorption rate. Holding a Crotterine Shield will give you about 15%, and combined they give you a 40.5% absorption rate. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If uh, that is the case, please click the like button, maybe think about subscribing, drop a comment down below on other topics you would like to see. I hope to be doing more and more videos of these. Uh, there's been a big break, I've been busy, but I hope to get back to it. 
Once again, my name is Tychus. This has been Tychus Teaches You Stuff, and I hope you guys have a great day.